demonstration, we'll use selection recipes and universal connections to produce a survivable point connected to the mesh that we can use to define a load. We'll begin creating our simulation files and in the idealized part we'll get an associative copy of it and unite it and then we'll create our mid-surface. Next we'll create a datum plane on the mid-surface Then instead of creating our point at the arc center of the mid-surface, to improve robustness of the CAD change, we'll put the point relative to the solid. Then we'll project that point onto the mid-surface onto the datum plane that's on the mid-surface. and we'll do that along face normal. All right, now that we have a robust point defined, we can create our mesh. And we'll need to bring in those points that we had created Go ahead and do that under geometry options. Now we don't need the solid, so we'll hide that. Now before we create our mesh, because we want a congruent mesh across the gusset and the butt weld there, we'll go ahead and stitch with a snap ends tolerance to clean everything up. And then we'll mesh and in our mesh recipe, we'll suppress holes that are greater than 0.3 inches in diameter. And for a point creation, we'll select none because we already have a robust point defined uh, at the arc center. All right, now we'll define our selection recipe, which will select nodes from the mesh that we just selected at a tolerance equal to the radius of the hole. So here you can see the nodes that are within the radius of the hole. And that will be our selection recipe that we'll use in defining our universal connection, our rigid connection, universal connection. We'll select spider, for target one, none for target two. We'll select our point and our selection recipe for our leg selection. Now our selection, uh, our rigid connection is not yet realized. We need to go ahead and select automatic elements to do that. Now you can see our rigid connection is up to date and we have a 1D collector with RBE2s in it. Now we can use that point to define our load that was used to define our universal connection. And that will survive any CAD change. And here to test it, we'll go back and move the hole. Here you can see our idealized part and mid-surface, as well as the points, have updated. And here you can see that our rigid connection is not realized. If we hit the Update button, it is realized and adjusts its location to the new hole location, and the force has also survived. And that concludes the demonstration.